Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Thursday, May 5th. Elon Musk will reportedly take over the role of CEO at Twitter after the acquisition is complete, but his plan is to not hold on to the position for very long. You can tell me if that sounds familiar. When Elon Musk became CEO of Tesla back in 2009, it was only supposed to be for a few months until they found a replacement. We all know how that went. Musk hasn't officially commented on the Twitter leadership situation quite yet, but there's no doubt that Musk is going to spend more time working on Twitter in the coming months. Tesla stock is down 7% today following the news, although the broader market is down as well. Tesla is reportedly looking to expand at Gigafactory Berlin with the acquisition of a piece of land adjacent to the plant. Gigafactory Berlin already sits on about 300 acres, but now RBB24 reports, quote, The Tesla company is planning to massively expand its property in Grunhind. The RBB learned of this from official circles. Accordingly, the company intends to purchase approximately 100 hectares of land located directly east of the Tesla site between RE1 railway line and the L23 and L38 state roads. Now, according to information that the German media company received, Tesla plans to build a train station and storage area on the new land. The plan is reportedly not finalized, and a price for the new parcel has not been determined quite yet. It does sound like it could be around $13.5 million. If it does go through and the plan is approved, construction should start next summer. Tesla is going to supply up to 8 megawatt hours of power packs for SpaceX to expand its solar farm in Boca Chica, Texas. SpaceX has a solar farm at the Starbase there, consisting of 1 megawatt of solar power and 3.87 megawatt hours of storage capacity. The new documents uncovered by CNBC show that SpaceX plans to expand with Tesla power packs. It's the latest in many collaborations between the two companies. SpaceX also licenses software from Tesla, and the automaker has provided some engineering work for the launch provider. CATL, the largest EV battery manufacturer and a major supplier for Tesla, saw its stock fall after reportedly limited profits. The company has a roughly 35% market share of the global EV battery market, with LG being a distant second at about 16%. The dominance in the market has generally resulted in strong growth in revenue, but the company reported this week that net income fell 24% and underlying profits fell 41% in the first quarter. Some suspect the loss is from CATL participating in nickel price hedging. The price of nickel and lithium has more than doubled over the last year, and certain companies involved with the materials, especially nickel, have been known to hedge against the price. CATL is believed to be amongst those companies that shorted the nickel futures. CATL does maintain that the loss is a result of increased cost of raw materials. Nikola Corporation shared its first quarter results for 2022, and things are looking up. But then again, when you're on the bottom, the only way to go is up. Now, in all seriousness, in addition to a small but noteworthy gross profit, the previously ill-famed commercial EV manufacturer began delivering some electric semis and has purchase orders or letters of intent for hundreds more. According to Nikola's report, the final 10 of 40 pre-series Trey BEVs rolled off the assembly line. These pre-production semis continue to be used for demos, research and development, and pilot programs, of which Nikola has finished two. Nikola Corporation began serial production of the Trey BEV truck in Coolidge on March 21st and began shipping production trucks to dealers last month. However, it only delivered 11 for this quarter. That being said, Nikola is reporting purchase orders for 134 more and letters of intent that could amount to selling out for the calendar year. In today's community comment, most of you say that I look a bit older with a beard and that I could be in my 30s or even my 50s. Not too far off. I am currently 38 years old with or without the beard. But it's actually very common for people to say that I look like I'm in my 20s. I think the bulk of that reason is that because here at Quick Charge, I'm very straightforward and scripted, obviously. I think this might even give me an air of wisdom or age. In everyday life, I stumble on my words, misunderstand, joke with strangers, sometimes make a fool of myself. But not here at Quick Charge. For you, I'm the voice of an EV news website. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. 
They also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.